Assalamu alaikum. My name is Nurulain and my supervisor is Dr. Memuna Ismail Luna. I am from International Islamic University, Islamabad. And my presentation topic is relationship between religiosity, vengeance, and psychological well-being among working and non-working adults. Introduction, religiosity. Religiosity is defined as an individual degree of adherence to the belief, doctrine, and practice of a religion. Research suggests that people who engage in religious activities will report high level of well-being. And psychological well-being is a multidimensional phenomena. It is blended through autonomy, environmental mastery, personal growth, positive relation with other purpose in life, and self-acceptance. And vengeance is defined as either giving harmful punishment or simply returning behavior to the person to response harm or insult. Rationale. The purpose of the study is to investigate the relationship between religiosity, vengeance, and psychological well-being among working and non-working adults. The majority of studies examining religiosity and psychological well-being in Pakistani population focus on university students. This study focused on working and non-working adults. This category of adult has not been studied ex extensively in regard to religiosity, psychological well-being, and vengeance. Here is less emphasis in researches on the role of vengeance and how it affects the psychological well-being of working and non-working adults. Large amount of evidence is presented on the, present on the other topic like stress, its coping, and depression. Till now, vengeance, religiosity, and psychological well-being has been studied individually, whereas this study will be the first one studying the relationship between religiosity, vengeance, and psychological well-being simultaneously in working and non-working adults. However, there is a lack of awareness of the issue that may be arise due to the vengeful tendencies among working and non-working adults and important of This uh, present research is significant because it will help people consider the effect of vengeance on the psychological well-being of working and non-working adults. Here is this research is on the selected variable in the selected area, so it will help other researches to study it and will pave the way for future research. Objective, objective of the current study are as following. To investigate the relationship between religiosity, psychological well-being, and vengeance among working and non-working adults, and to assess differences on the basis of demographic variable on religiosity, psychological well-being, and vengeance among working and non-working adults. Hypothesis, there is a positive relationship between religiosity and psychological well-being among working and non-working adults. And vengeance is, neg is negatively correlated with psychological well-being and religiosity and among working and non-working adults. Method research is on studies based on the cross-sectional survey research design and sample convenient sampling technique was done to collect the data. The sample of the study complies of 250 participants, 125 working and 125 non-working adults. Both male and female were included. 125 working adults include um, doctor, pharmacist, banker, and teacher. The average age range of the working and non-working adults for the present study was between 25 to 55 years. Inclusion criteria participants having age in 25 and above and having minimum 12 years of education are included. And participants having age range less than 25 and having education less than 12 years are excluded. Instrument, these are the instruments used in the present uh, research. Uh, Arabic scale of intrinsic religiosity is used to measure the religiosity. It is developed by Abdul Khalik in 2017. It has 15 items in its reliability is 0.91. And second psychological well-being scale is used to measure psychological well-being. It's developed by Ref and Keys in 1995. It has seven subscale and the reliability is 0.86. The third scale is the vengeance scale. It's developed by Stackless and Gollanson in 1992. It has 20 items in its reliability is 0.92. With the permission of concerned authority, researchers personally approach the participant for data collection. Data were collected from individual participants after the brief introduction about the nature, purpose, and objective, objective of the study. A question regarding was asked from the participant. Uh, 
regarding the inclusion criteria of the study. The participants who meet the criteria were included in the study. Informed consent is obtained from the viewing respondent or authorities. Then the data was collected and every confusion regarding it made clear. Moreover, participants are the first to be honest when they provide the answer and at the end they were thanked for their cooperation. It is uh, in order to determine the result, SPSS was used to descriptive for descriptive analysis, linear regression analysis, and retest. Result this table show the this table show the demographic detail along the frequencies and percentage. 255, 250 individual working, 125 working, and 125 non-working were taken as uh, sample the age range of the participant from, um, range from 25 to 55 years and the most frequent age of the participant range from 25 to 35 and the participants were both male and female on the basis of marital status part participants were divided into two groups married participants were greater in number than unmarried participants similarly on the basis of education level participants were divided into two three categories and most of the participants have education um, graduation or um, master level there were three groups. There were four groups according to the occupation, and, and all of the groups have equal number of participants. On the basis of employment status, the participants were divided into two groups, working and non-working. And there are equal participants in both groups. This table shows the psychometric properties of the um, scales. The alpha reliability of Arabic scale for intrinsic religiosity is 0.87 and, uh, and for psychological well-being scale is 0.92 and the vengeance scale has alpha reliability of 0.86. The reliability analysis indicate that all these scales are internally consistent at as the coefficient of alpha reliability range from 0.70 to 0.9, which is satisfactory. This table shows the pairs and correlation between religiosity, psychological well-being, and vengeance among working and non-working adults. The result of the table show that religiosity has positive relationship with psychological well-being, whereas vengeance is negatively correlated with both psychological well-being and religiosity. The table four show the the table four shows the independent t-test for the comparison of working and non-working participants for the study variable. The result of the study showed that working participants were seen to have significantly high score on religiosity and psychological well-being uh, as compared to non-working adults and non-working uh, adults have significantly high score on uh, vengeance as compared to working adults. Mutation and suggestion. Sample was small and taken from four cities only due to which the study result cannot be generalized on all working and non-working adults of Pakistan. Future researchers, researchers can work covering all these variables with large sample size. Uh, second, cross-sectional survey design was used in the current study. We can only determine whether the variables are correlate or not from studies using such designs. So it is suggested for future researchers that for in-depth information and exploration of variable, uh, triangulation design and mixed method research design may used. All scales which were used in the present study were divided, developed in West where the culture is individualistic uh, while all culture is color collectivistic. So for future research, it is suggested that uh, indigenous scales have been developed to measure these variables. Implication, the present study has several implications for research uh, and uh, practice. The present study clarifies the relationship between religiosity, vengeance, and psychological well-being of working and non-working adults. The finding can help researchers, psychologists, and psychological health professionals to professional to consider the effect of vengeance on the psychological well-being of working and non-working adults. The research finding would provide a ground for practitioners and researchers to work more elaborately on the selected variable in Pakistan in future. The finding of this study can add to the existing body of knowledge related to religiosity, psychological well-being. In engines that already exist. 
conclusion to summarize strong significant positive relations were found between the joy and psychological well-being differences and uh, strong negative relation was found between uh, between the uh, vengeance and psychological well-being and also between vengeance and religious differences on the basis of employment status show that working adults are more religious than non working adults it was also found that working adults have high psychological well-being as compared to non working adults and the self finding will um, provide ground for practitioner and researchers to work more elaborately on the selective variable in pakistan in future thank you